heart failure is a condition where either your heart doesn't pump well or your heart doesn't relax well. When we talk about heart failure with patients, we like to distinguish between symptoms of congestion and symptoms of perfusion. What I mean by that is congestion is when the heart doesn't pump or relax well, the pressures in the heart circuit and the lung circuit go way up. And that can cause people to be short of breath. Maybe they're not able to lay flat in their bed and they find that they have to use a bunch of pillows to breathe better, we call that orthopnea. You get up in the middle of the night gasping for air, or all of a sudden you can't lay flat. You need to now sleep with one pillow, two pillows, three pillows. And we always ask patients, how many pillows are you sleeping with tonight? Patients might find that they're more swollen in the legs or swollen in the belly. Those are symptoms of congestion. It's essentially what you see is tightening and, and engorgement of your legs not only your ankles, but all the way up to your knees. And in fact, it can go higher in people with really severe heart failure. But when you start seeing what we call pitting uh, swelling, that is you push down on your legs and you remove your thumb and you can still see that indentation, that's heart failure. We also ask patients about symptoms of poor perfusion. Perfusion is the amount of blood that's getting to all the organs in the body. So if that pump isn't working well, then you might not be getting enough blood supply to the different organs. When the brain doesn't get enough blood, you're gonna have symptoms of fatigue, dizziness, passing out, lightheadedness. So shortness of breath and, and fatigue are the two most important symptoms that I, that I don't want patients to ignore. They're very nonspecific symptoms, but they can be the first signs and symptoms of heart failure and even a heart attack. Really make sure you seek out a thorough history and physical from a professional so that we can catch these diseases earlier and prevent them from progressing.